What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a great Friday. The weekend is upon us, so that is uh, something to look forward to. I just wanted to jump into another video here. Um, I seem to get some good feedback and some um, actually good response to the C++ video I just put out. Um, disclaimer, I am not a programmer in any way, shape, or form. I am just tinkering around. I'm just learning this stuff. So if you're watching these videos, just know that. Um, one thing that people pointed out to me on my last video on that C++ BMI calculator was one of the lines I had in there, the using namespace, uh, STD, and then uh, semicolon. They said that's kind of bad practice. Um, not to use that basically to declare STD before you um, use C out or C in or whatever. And then also instead of using um, the for my name string for C in for name to use um, STD colon colon get line and then in parentheses here. So I kind of put into practice in this uh uh, script here what they told me and what they suggested it works whether I did it correctly as to way they were thinking um, I don't know but um, it, it does work I did remove that one line the using namespace line and um, it cha made a few changes to everything and it it still works just like it did before um, it's just the syntax is just a little different so that being said I don't know if again if I did it correctly like they were talking about but um, I did make that change so what we're going to do today, though, is I thought we would actually write a BMI calculator again. And I'm doing a BMI calculator because, again, I am new to all this. I am just trying to figure all this out and learn all this stuff. Um, I'm doing it on my own. I, like I said, I do have a degree that I'm working on that eventually I'm going to be um, getting into some C++. Um, but for the rest of the stuff, I'm just learning this stuff as I go. I'm kind of self-teaching uh, like a lot of people do right now. But... Um, so I'm just kind of getting a feel for the different syntaxes of different languages, and uh, BMI Calculator was something that was not just a hello world script that, you know, prints out hello, wor hello world, you know, that's you know, the basic starting point for everybody and for everything. I just wanted something that was a little more, um, I, I hesitate to use the word complex, but, you know, a little more complex than what just a little hello world script would do. And so I'm going to try it in a couple different languages. And so I figure I'll just take the same project, this BMI calculator, and I'll just go through and I'll write it in several different languages. So today we're going to do it in Python, and I'm going to leave this um, C++ version open, and we're going to kind of just look at the syntax as we're doing it. Um, I'm not going to go into detail trying to explain anything because um, I'm not that not at that point yet, but we're just going to go ahead and um, get started here. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, create a split, so we're going to call it bmi.py and we are going to um, have a shebang here but instead of the environment being bash we are going to use python and the project is a python bmi calculator okay so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to write this same program that i have in c++ but we're going to write it in python so let's give this a shot so basically, first thing I want to do is I want to um, get some input from the user. Name, age, height, and weight, just like we did over here in this one. So I believe what we're going to do is we're going to go name equals, but I want the name not to be supplied by the program. I want it to be supplied by the user. So I think what we do is we do the input, and then in parentheses here, we put um, like, what is your name? And then we close the parentheses. Oops, that should be a double quote. And then we close the parentheses. And then we do the same thing for for age. So we're going to do age equals input. And then we're going to say again, let's just say how old are you? Now the age, again, doesn't have anything to do with the program, but I'm just trying to copy this one over here and just do it here. And then we'll run it and just compare um, how they work and what the syntax is like. Um, so then after age, we have, um, so we have age, name, weight, and height. So over here now we need to do, actually what we need to do with Python, I think, and I'm going to do this, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think what we have to do is we have to do age equals int, because it's going to be an integer and it's going to be age. So I think we got to do that. Um, whether we do for sure or not, I don't know. But now let's do height equals input. And then again, how tall are you in inches? And then we are going to... Actually, you know, I also want a new line after these. 
so that way there's okay and then again for this we need to do height equals int height and then we're gonna do weight weight equals input and then how much do you weigh and then we're gonna do new line double quotes and closing okay so that should do that but then we need to do weight equals int okay so we have name we have age we have height and we have weight so those are what we need there <coughs> Excuse me, I'm really fighting allergies or a cold or something lately, so I apologize for any sounds that I make that are unappealing, so please forgive me for that. Um, so now we have name, age, height, and weight. Uh, next, what we need to do is we need to have the BMI, which is basically going to be the calculation, the body mass calculation. So we're going to have BMI, and I, it should be able to, it should look pretty much the same as this over here. So basically, we should do BMI equals weight times 703 divided by height times height. I'm pretty sure that should look identical. Well, I guess we'll find out when we run this, but. And then the BMI is going to be a float, so we want it to equal float BMI. So that should declare all our variables and give us our calculation for our uh, for our BMI calculations. So now what we need to do is we need to print because this is the output we're going to get. And let's do hello. Um, and then we're going to do name, and actually I think I need a comma here. Hello, and then the name. I think we have to have a comma in between, comma in between each each portion of this. Um, and let's do um, your BMI is, and then do BMI. And so this is going to give us, hello, Jake. Actually, let's do a little more in here. So let's do, you are, and then do comma, age, and then comma. So it should say, hello, your name, you are, how, how old you are, your BMI is, and give you your BMI. Um, and then after that, we also want to have kind of the output that describes the BMI. So now we need to do an if statement that's going to say, um, if BMI, um, I think this is just less than, uh, equal to, no, we said less than 18. And I think with... Python, you do uh, that, and then we're going to do print, and then we're going to say, um, let's see here, what do we want it to say, we'll just do the same thing over here, um, you are too skinny, please pick up a fork. So that should be that. Um, and then we're going to do else if. Is it else if? No, it's l if. L if BMI is less than 25. Print. And we wanted to say. You are the picture of body mass perfection, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just say that. Um, and then we're going to do else. Um, and we don't have to put anything there because if it's anything over 25 or over, it's going to print. 
and let's just say um, you are overweight please put down the fork and step away from the table <laughs> again please uh, don't don't take offense to any of this it's just I'm just having having a little fun um, and I apologize if it does offend somebody but you know I'm sorry that's that's life uh, so that should be it so we have our name we have our age we have our input or our, excuse me our height our weight our BMI we have the output from that and then also the output if the BMI is okay so that should be be that let's go ahead and write so we've got that all written now you can see this is the C++ um, a few lines longer um, than the Python but really not that much um, real similar yet not similar because I mean you've got your variables declared and you've got your variables declared over here you're just printing something out instead of having print over here you're using C out and you're using print here you're using parentheses um, well, you're using chevrons here. So, I mean, it's the syntax is obviously different. It's different for all the different languages. But you can really see the, the commonalities and the similarities um, when you're using programming languages. So, Python is a little shorter looking, a little more concise looking. Um, I will say writing the Python one, if I got it correct, I don't even know if this is going to run yet, but <laughs> uh, based on what I was kind of reading... It looks like it should be okay. The Python was a little bit easier for me to understand right off the bat, um, but again, Python is a more beginner-friendly language from what I hear. I guess I'll find out. But uh, that being said, it's all it's all uh, it's all finished. So let's go ahead and write and quit, and let's go ahead and quit. Write and quit. Um, let's go back and cd into Python, and we're gonna ch mod plus x, and that was. Um, bmi.py so L and if we do an LS um, I've got bmi.py right here um, so these are just some little tester things I ran just to ha see how to do variables and stuff but this is the first first thing I've done that so let's clear the screen and let's do Python because we're going to run the script with Python and we're going to do bmi.py and let's see if this works so what is your name? Okay, so so far so good. Let's do Jake. How old are you? 43. How tall are you in inches? 72. And how much do you weigh? So far so good. This is doing what we want it to do. Um, 190. And if we hit enter, hello Jake, you are 43. Your BMI is 25 point a bunch of numbers. <laughs> you are overweight. Please put down the fork and stuff. So it does. It works. It works just like it should. Let's go ahead and um, open the uh, another terminal here and let's cd into project and then C++. Let's clear the screen and zoom in and let's run this one over here. Let's do dot slash and then do what was it BMI um, and let's run that one again. What's your name? Jake. How old are you? 43. How much do you weigh? Uh, 190. How tall are you? 72. And your BMI is 25. Okay, so this one doesn't turn the BMI, even though I declared it as a float, I must have done something incorrect there because it doesn't give me the numbers like or the, the decimal like this one does over here. But they both work. They both work well, relatively well. Um, this one clears the screen and gives me a printout like that looks like this. Um, this one just shows the um, inputs here I guess I could change that to do it a little differently but again they both work Python and C++ both pretty similar both pretty easy to write um, again I don't know if I did it correctly or efficiently or whatever if anybody's got any uh, tips or comments on how I did that uh, please let me know um, the more you guys <laughs> explain things to me that I'm getting wrong or doing um, maybe a, a poor way or you know a bad practice you know please let me know so obviously I can learn um, but cool they both work so 
Now I've got a C++ BMI calculator and a Python um, BMI calculator. Uh, I guess I'll look for another another language to do it in here uh, on the next video or maybe a video down the road a bit. You guys might get sick of watching these. Um, but I think I am going to include some more of these programming videos in there just to kind of get out of the strictly Linux space. Um, not that I have anything against that. I love Linux. If you guys have watched my channel, you know um, Linux is an amazing, amazing operating system. I love uh, messing around with it. I love what I've learned in it. Um, but I think I want to branch out a little bit and get a little bit more into the programming and maybe some of the tech stuff too. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a great weekend. Um, get some rest uh, if you can, if you don't work. Um, if you do work, don't work too hard. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys and uh, dealing with you guys next time. Uh, thanks a lot. God bless.